This here is uh, it's an evil little puzzle, and it's evil in a couple of ways. The first way it's evil is the title of it. This one here is called Mouse, uh, and it's put out by uh, Be Puzzled, uh, Hanayama. Uh, but you can also find this uh, as cheese. So you're going to have to uh, search uh, Mouse, Pocket Puzzlers, Cheese, Pocket Puzzlers, or just Pocket Puzzlers. Uh, you'll find it, but you're basically looking for this cover because they're both uh, exactly the same. Um, the Art of Play website uh, also calls this one Mighty Cheese. So I'm not sure why they're called uh, different things, but uh, you know, just look for this box. So what's the deal with this little puzzle here? Well, uh, this uh, little blue uh, circle there is a mouse, and you have to put this little mouse inside the frame with all the uh, pieces of cheese there, right? Look at the back, you see? You gotta put the pieces of cheese and the little mouse within that frame. Uh, it looks uh, easier than it is. The second evil thing about this puzzle is that uh, it's gonna lead you uh, to think in a certain way, uh, but you'll be dead wrong. So after playing with this puzzle for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, you're going to finally, at some point, realize that uh, there's some red herrings here. And what you've been trying to do is just not working. So you're going to have to think beyond that. But that's what makes uh, puzzles fun, right? So here's a little clip of me playing with this uh, mouse or cheese or mighty cheese puzzle. Here it is. Uh, when you start playing with this, uh, the idea is you got to put this little uh, mouse here within that frame with all the pieces of cheese. So uh, the puzzle kind of leads you uh, to a couple of dead ends, right? Because immediately you think you got to got to do something like this, right? This makes total sense. And then you, look, you start looking at the corners. Um, I've already solved this puzzle. I'm not going to solve it here. I just kind of wanted to show it to you. Um, you know, but first I thought, okay, well, let's go with the easy thing, right? It's a nice acrylic, nice uh, plastic. It's uh, portable. I thought, okay, let's work the corners uh, that way. You know, maybe something like that, but then I don't, I don't quite have a piece there, though that starts to look good there, right? Maybe I can build something around this. Look at that, I can almost fit that there. But then I have a problem with these, uh, oh no, that one actually fits there. See, I can almost fit that there, and this doesn't quite fit in here. Right? Well, it does fit, but without the mouse, right? That's kind of how the game comes set up anyway, the puzzle. So that's not it. You start looking at the corners. And then I thought, well, maybe the corners are, because, uh, you know, it's double-sided, so, of course. I thought maybe it's something like that, you know? Uh, you know, that, that could, maybe that could work. But then... You know, what am I going to do with that? You know, I thought maybe, maybe I could put that there like that. Um, I don't know if it fits there, but what am I going to do here? So you get the idea. Uh, you start playing around with this cheese, uh, these cheese pieces. And uh, this thing is, uh, this thing's a bit evil. Um... But you'll get there, you'll get there. Uh, look, that looks that looks like it might work, right? But then but then we have this little problem here. We can't fit that guy in there. Right? And it doesn't matter if we take the uh, little guy there to maybe put in here. You still can't fit that piece in. So yeah, you're getting the idea. And uh, it's a neat puzzle. It's a... Uh, 
slightly evil puzzle. But it's a fun puzzle, and I enjoyed uh, solving it. Uh, gave me, uh, you know, just like with any puzzle, when you when you solve a puzzle, there's a satisfaction there, and this uh, certainly gave me a fair amount of satisfaction when I solved it. So there it is. Yeah, I mean, I've solved this puzzle before, but I'm not going to solve it uh, here on, on video. I think that, uh, you know, get the puzzle if you want it and, uh, and then uh, figure it out because that's where the satisfaction uh, really comes from when uh, playing around with puzzles, right? It's uh, figuring them out and then you feel great about it. Um, even if it takes you five, ten minutes to, uh, to figure it out, it's, uh, there's still satisfaction there. So uh, yeah, mouse, cheese, mighty cheese, go get one.